Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Deku, the regular style. Izuku Midoriya, plain. Regular one's justice. Now, people be downplaying this character, they're like, oh, 100% Deku, so overpowered. But, oh my god, this Deku is something else overpowered. Like, oh what, you get a consistent 10,000 damage combo? Oh, you know, that seems fine. Oh, you know, but it can also lead into, like, super easy wall splat. But, um, oh, let me just show you something real quick, guys. Ready? See, like, you know, just a normal combo. It was one dash cancel into a wall splat. Oh, 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 that, oh that's 21,000? Oh, that's, that's fine, you know. Balance. Oh, and then 12,000 damage combo for a single dash cancel. That's fine. That's casual, you know. That's normal. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into his buttons. So he has a four hitting attack string, the fourth hit you practically never can do. Uh, neither the third hit, because most of his quirk buttons or and his other buttons connect better after the second hit. So like even this move here, it's a lot better after the second hit. So a lot of times you're just gonna be doing second hit into quirks, but you can if you want, you can dash cancel after the third hit or whatever. Um, his air combo is a bit different for One's Justice 1 because it leads to a bounce. So that means you can combo into some of his other quirk buttons in certain situations, even his new button. You can consistently get that off of. And obviously, you can now just use it as a combo extender. And get some easy combos that way. Like he doesn't have <laughs> it easy enough already. Man, do I sound salty making this? I think I, I think I do. His red attack is this throw. This is probably the weakest part about him. Actually, it still does a huge chunk of damage, but it's kind of slow, and it doesn't reach that far. Like, he doesn't dash forward like other red attacks. So this is probably the worst part about him, but still, it's really good. Like, if I pull out a buff go from my unblockable setup, like, it's not that bad. It gets the job done. It's a red attack, and people are going to be so scared of especially when you're... Hey, let me show when you're in buffed up mode from doing this extra- oh my god 11,000 but like this move is extremely fast and, and does tons of damage people are going to be so scared of you in this mode like you're ready to attack you're going to get it always so easy 7,500 damage so what you know that's normal 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 <laughs> um his yellow attack is this ground slam it does good damage it doesn't count towards a meteor blow, which is really good. So, like, even after extremely long combo, like the one, like, which would normally meteor blow, like it's on the brink of meteor blowing, but I can still let the whole armor attack it, and it won't meteor blow at all. So you can always count on doing this, and whatever, and that's guaranteed. And you're always going to be using it to extend your combos because it does adds a lot of damage. You want to make sure you let all three hits hit. Um, at the beginning of your combo, but not if you're trying to cancel into something like your plus ultras. You always want to do it like on the frame that it hits in order to do that. Okay, his air armor attack, I mean you're not really going to do it that much. Like, I, I guess it gets the job done as an armor attack, like if you're getting zoned out somehow, because he's good projectiles. Like you can dash in, you can use this yellow attack if someone's throwing projectiles at you, you'll go through the projectile and slam them to the ground. But he has a lot of other good moves, I don't see why you would do that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so that's his regular buttons. So now his quirk one is this projectile, which is also very strong. It doesn't go full screen, but it does goes a decent distance, like about here, or a bit closer. But this isn't the main scary part. It does good damage, even just like this, 2,500, and it's pretty fast. Has quick recovery, so people aren't going to punish you for it. And it travels very fast. It's one of the fastest traveling projectiles. Well, maybe not one of the fastest, but it's very fast. But if you hold down the button, it charges. And then you get the amazing this thing, which is like a weaker version of this plus ultra one, but it's just so good. Because it does so much damage for a projectile, it tracks. Like if I put Bakugo onto um, doing some dodges or something. You can see it swerves towards them, and so a lot of the time when you're facing Deku was online, see look that caught Bakugo even when he was dashing. 
lot of the time, and like you don't even have to do the regular one, like you can just hold down the button after doing the enhanced version, then you can, a lot of Dekus are just gonna spend the whole day, uh, whole game running around and mashing this button and running away, oh and you get close, oh I'll just do a plus ultra one, and then, yeah. so try and not be cancerous when playing with Deku online please, I know he's a strong character, but you know, have fun with him, don't make people cry. Okay. So yeah, that's his quirk one. It's a good projectile, can be done in the air as well. You can charge it to make it a crazy projectile. Now here's a new button in this game, from Mons Justice 1. It is his tilt quirk one. So he jumps into the air and does a uh, charged flick to the ground, and it does pretty good damage and it can be used to extend combos. Um, obviously you have to dash cancel to extend your combos. You can also just use it as a bit of a um, like a cheeky free combo tool, so if I do two hits into this, if your opponent's on recovery, oops, that was a bit of a bad example. A lot of the time you can just dash up and, okay, if I'm higher in the air, so I don't have to land on the ground. A lot of the time you can just run up and catch them. But yeah, yeah, so you can get your free combo extender, kind of like that. Run up and get your combos and whatever from the air, because it'll do a lot of damage wherever you are. But it can it does a lot of damage if you're um, high in the air, so if I do this move into two hits into this, you can see it has a multi-hit effect depending on how high you are, kind of like Aizawa's um, armor attack in the air. So it can do a lot of damage when you're up high and look really cool. And if I am up high, say if I've done two hits into this, oops, not bad. I can dash cancel after that to get another interesting combo. Because, like, you want to be changing it up. I know this is his most damaging combo, but, like, well, that is the most boring thing after a while, because you see it constantly. So I like to change the combo up sometimes, do two hits into this, dash cancel into the... Or if I'm, especially if I'm high in the air, we're in a, um, like an air situation. Use it as a combo extender there. Like, a lot of the time it will connect. Wait. Pretend I'm really high in the air. After, like, we've, we've been doing stuff. Dash up, and, you know, combo extender. We can do a lot of damage that way. Yeah. And it's a really good move. It just adds to his kind of annoying projectile-iness. Um, because they can't punish it, because it has a lot of pushback, there's a lot of block pressure, and he like backflips back after it, so there's practically no way they're gonna, block, they're gonna punish you for doing this. Like, unless they, they know specifically the matchup and they jump up into the air and dash after you, but a lot of people aren't doing that at the moment, so you can practically do this safely. And it does, <laughs> did you see that? It does so much guard pressure, it's ridiculous. Like, wait, let me just break his guard. If I did one, two, three into this, that's like half of his health, like guard thing gone. So if he did a sidestep or something, he's like practically dead. It's pretty ridiculous. So yeah, that's another good move that's been added to his arsenal. And I actually really like this move. I think it's interesting. Oh, and you can do it in the air, and it looks practically the same as on the ground. But I, I think it's a pretty good move. It's interesting. It's, I don't think it's overpowered. It does decent damage. If you see it hit and dash cancel, you get a nice combo afterwards. So yeah, I think it's a nice move. Don't nerf it. It's the only like, <laughs> like, balanced thing about his move set. And I think it's cool. A good change. Okay, his quirk two is this charge that was in one's justice one. He just punches you. It's very good at getting wall splats, as I'm sure you've experienced or seen me do already in this video. And it's also very good, it's better at avoiding the beauty blow mechanic than a lot of his other moves. So like, even moves that do less damage, like his flick, with crushing blow after all of this. I mean, not crushing blow, meteor blow. But this move is pretty good at avoiding that. It just still does have some meteor blow effects, like if I do it here, it's gonna meteor blow. But it's pretty good at avoiding it. So a lot of the time, obviously, the regular combo is gonna be this, two hits into this, and then you're probably facing a wall. So you can do something like this, and then you've got <laughs> 13,000 for one dash cancel. <laughs> Casual. So that's into this, dash cancel, two hits. So yeah, it's always going to be a combo ender, even if you're not facing a wall. 
it's his best, most, and most damaging combo in. So you're gonna be using it that like most of the time. And if you are facing a wall, a lot of the time you can just dash cancel and get a combo off of it anyways, which is kind of like uh, uh, facing a wall. I mean, as in a, like a non-wall, like the, like the invisible wall. So a lot of the time you can just get it again because that's fair. <laughs> So if I do my regular bread and butter combo, into this, and dash cancel, I can just get it again, and I'll just add some more damage onto my combo. Oops. Anyway, I'll just go like this. And there you go, we've gotten like 12,000 damage if you had the hits at the beginning, and then, oh yeah, easy peasy combo, one dash cancel, actually that was two dash cancels, 11,000 damage. Pretty easy. Okay. Um, and his tilt quirk two is this move that you've seen me using a lot. Oh, uh, quick note on his regular quirk two, this one. Just like his quirk one, you can charge it. And I don't actually do this too often because it it gives it more damage, but it leads to an instant meteor blow. It does send them flying super far away, so you can charge up like everything again because you have tons of time. They're sent all the way to the other side of the screen. So you have this, you have your charge thing, <laughs> guaranteed. But I'm, I'm pretty sure its main use is if you want to go through a projectile. So if I have this charged up, and Bakugo throws his projectile, oops, I still have it charged. Okay, so if I start it before he does his thing, basically I'm pretty sure it just nullifies projectiles and goes through them. But at least your meaty blow does a little bit more damage, but I don't find myself doing it too much because it's, you're limiting how many combo, how much combo you can do because it, you can't get a wolf splat after a meaty blow. Um, but yeah, if you want to do more damage, I guess um, you can do charge it while you're in this. Do two. No, oh my god, thirteen thousand six hundred damage for a one dash cancel. Half of the health gone. One dash cancel. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Super fine. I'm okay with that. That's fair. Okay. Now his tilt quirk two is this move that you've seen me do like in every combo because it does a lot of damage and you always use it after his armor attack rack usually. So after you let all three hits of this hit, you cancel into this. It does a ton of hits. Super good damage on its own. Like a lot of characters, that would be the most damage they can get needlessly. And you can dash cancel off of it, and then get super easy combos. Super, super easy combos with high damage. Um, you can cancel it off of other things if you want to like limit your meteor blowness or something like that. Like if you're playing try hard Deku, you're always going to be doing two hits, armor move into this. And also, this move is really good because it essentially makes his armor move sick. So even on block, you can do the same combo that you were doing. Like, if it hit, see, I'm doing the same combo either way and getting big damage for it. And I'll just do the same thing on block, and I'm safe, I believe. After that end, I've taken like half of his guard. So I get a full combo if he has done a sidestep or something. Oh this character is so dirty, guys. See, look, if I did three hits, that's like most of his guard pressures. If he did a sidestep, it's instantly gone and I get a combo. And it's so mindless because I would have been doing that either way. So I can do this on block or on hits and I don't have to think about, oh, did that hit or not? Do I have to check whether I'm which combo to do here, should I make myself safe with something, nah, just, just do the same thing you would have done before. <laughs> and obviously you can dash cancel it, keep on block, to like instant guard break your way to victory. <laughs> so if I do two hits, I'm gonna move this, guard break, oh, and now I get a full combo, lovely of you to do that. You know, 12,000 damage. It's, it's easy for me, you know, boy. You just gotta get good, you know? <laughs> oh god. 
Okay, now that that's all of his buttons, we can get into his combos, and I think I may have actually, like, spoiled them all while <laughs> doing it. So, his bread and butter combo, obviously, two hits, armor move, let all three hits hit, and then go into Toe 2, dash cancel, two hits in the air, and then you're probably going to get a wall splat, so you can do two hits, into the armor move, and then into Toe 2, so you'll end up looking like this, and that's what you'll do on the wall. So I'll show it again. Two hits. I'm gonna move. Let a lot of hits hit. Took work two. Dash cancel. Two hits. Took work two. Two hits. I'm gonna move. Took work two. And you've gotten an easy 13,000 damage. And you can actually charge the quirk two in order to get a bit more damage at the end by holding down the button. See, he's charged. Two hits. And there we go. I've gotten 13,600 damage from one dash cancel. And as I showed before, you can actually get a very similar combo, with, even if you don't have a wall splat. I do two hits, and I just dash cancel after this. I can usually get an extension after that, and then you get an easy 12,000 damage for two dash cancels. That's that's fine. That's pretty normal, you know. But I do that all the time <laughs> with other characters. Oh, and something I want to mention about his regular um, combo is that he builds so much meter for some reason. So see. I'm gonna try and save it. So I have full meter here, and I'm gonna use one dash cancel when I do the dash cancel, obviously, so it'll take a bit. But he builds so much meter, but by the time you've finished the combo, he has the meter back. So it practically cost him nothing. That 13,000 damage that you just took, and he's in the same position as he was when he started. Isn't that just a little bit ridiculous, developers? Like, whatever. And. The same doesn't apply for his um, black, uh, his non wall black combo, but you're getting a lot of damage for two dash cancels. Twelve thousand damage for two dash cancels. Take that any day with any other character. And obviously, this isn't even the end. Um, if you want to do a combo from the air, I suggest you do something like this. And. Or just going up two hits into the tilt quirk one. Into that. He gets a little less damage when he's in the air, which is lucky. And something else I just want to mention with him a lot of the time, because your combos are ending near the wall, so um, a lot of the time you're going to be like this. A lot of the time, like, you can just re recover and get your combo that way, and then that way it's going to be a proper reset. And now I've just gotten 11,400 damage, just because, you know, I like ended, pretend I've done a super long combo and he's like near the wall, I can just dash up and do some more attacks, like because they recovered, and then it, he can do it so fast that there's no, no frames for them to actually press any buttons, so they have to just guard a lot of time if I do something like this. And if I'm facing a wall like I did before, I get an easy reset, huge damage combo just because they decided to recover. And this is where he gets even stronger, because if they decide, oh, well I'm not going to recover so you can't reset me in the air, well, he can do some, he can do even bigger combos by doing something like this. Oops, I messed up. Like this. And obviously after you do it once, your opponent is going to realize, but if I do something like this... Oops, no, please don't mess it up. I've gotten 13,000 damage just because they didn't recover once. So they did one non-recovery there, and then I realized, oh, if he's not recovering, I'll just get my 13,000 damage combo. So that's super easy, and I could have made it even better if I put a plus ultra one or something in it, so if I did... Oops, sometimes it's a bit hard to time. Oh yeah, but the point is you get a lot of damage, okay? And to rephrase why they're going to be scared of recovering is because you're doing stuff like this. Oh, he's not on recovery. Because after you do his quirk 2 in the air, even if you're not getting a combo from it, if I'm near the wall or something and they're just around here, a lot of the time I can just reset the combo and dash at them. Especially if I'm 
in a certain position near the wall. So if I pretend I've done my long combo that's like, you know, what, 10,000 damage, I dash up, do this, and then I've gotten huge damage. Actually, I don't think that's going to connect. But the point is, it, it could have. And if I just did two hits, that would have been huge damage, just because they decided to recover. So when they're scared of, reco of recovering, that's when you can do that 13,000 damage. It, He's really, really scary. I could have gotten a wall. Actually, I might get a wall splat here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look. Look at this guy as well. There. Yeah. Just because he decided to recover, I got this. That's fair. That's. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, so with his plus ultra combos, what I showed you at the beginning was real. So um, let me show you something real quick. If I do this like nice combo, you know, I get into the wall, I do this whole situation, I do two hits, and this is going to his plus ultra two, which you know, costs more than a plus ultra one. I believe I get 21,000 damage, which is, like, don't take that for granted. Like, I'm not trying to downplay it, that is a lot of damage. Like, if it was any other character, that is huge damage, and like, for one dash cancel, and a super easy combo into it, that is amazing for a plus ultra too. But what if I showed you this, I guess? He gets the same amount of damage using his plus ultra 1. And, he's in his freaking spaz mode, so he can get combos like that just instantly for one dash cancel. So, <coughs> if you do that combo and use a plus ultra 1 at the end, you get 21,000 damage, which is almost your opponent's entire health bar, but you're also in like psycho mode, where you like are super fast and do lots of damage, even though you hurt yourself a bit, it doesn't matter. So you're in psycho mode, after you've done 21,000 damage, you can just go in and do a throw, because they are so scared and they're dead. You've just taken their entire health bar with one combo into a throw. Into a red move. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the red move, you can just pressure them to death. Like literally. Okay, so I'm in charge mode. I'll put him onto guarding. And they're dead. If you just get touch them with anything after that combo, they are dead. It's ridiculous. I it's so crazy. And that was for one dash cancel and one plus ultra. He was able to get 21,000 damage. And similar applies for even if you don't get a wall splat. Obviously, it's a bit less. A lot of the time, if you're facing like even an invisible wall, you can cancel it after his part two, and then he gets 16,000 damage, which is still huge damage for for what it is. For like a short combo into ending it with a plus ultra one, he takes like half of your health bar. Plus, he's in his psycho crazy mode. It's ridiculous, guys. This character is ridiculous. Like, what do I even say about it? So if, and let me show you some of how his combos are even better when he's in crazy mode. Okay, so engaged crazy mode. You can do the same thing. Oh, full flat. And like, oh, I messed that up, but I still got 15,000 damage. Like, is this a joke? I don't know, was this an April Fool's joke? Am I missing out on something? Like, that is not even an optimal combo. I just did attack into a Quirk 2, and I got 16,000 damage. Without using a plus ultra attack. So that's just hit a regular combo for him in his Psycho mode. That was a single dash cancel, 16,000 damage. And he can get more damage if he wants to use another plus ultra on the end of that, and, and the, on that, and that. It's ridiculous. And this is why I don't even like bother running OP supports. Like, it doesn't even matter to me. Because he's OP no matter what. You have your crazy. Okay, let's go into summary mode, guys. Crazy projectiles, really good zoning. He has this projectile that's completely safe. While he's in the recovery of that, he can charge up this one, which is also safe. does a lot of damage, and has really good tracking. He has a safe armor move, which I think um, Momo and All Might are the only other characters that have one of those. He has easy combos, probably the easiest combos in the game for the amount of damage that they do. 
threes huge damage for something so easy. He gets a wall splat off of practically any combo because he always ends up in quirk two. So he gets a wall splat off of every time, so he's getting consistent 13,000 damage. And he has the most broken plus ultra one in the game. Seeing as he can get 21,000 damage off of a simple wall splat. Like, okay. I, this is a combo, I'm not even going to use any meter. I've just like, I've unfortunately caught my opponent in the air, maybe I got him with a reset or something. Damn, I'm just going to combo into my plus ultra one. And I've done 20,000 damage. And I'm in this mode, which makes him like the most crazy character in the game, because he gets like 16,000 damage for a single dash cancel. It's a short amount of time, but your opponent's so scared, if they think you're going in for a combo, you're gonna go in for a red attack, and in the spaz mode, it's like 7,500 damage. It... He is ridiculous, guys! And I'm gonna end the video there, because... <laughs> I'm... It hurts, talking about a character this strong. What happened to all the other characters that aren't this strong? What about poor, like... I don't know, Endeavor, why doesn't he have a 21,000 damage combo for using one plus ultra? That seems a bit unfair to me. Or, like, 20,000 just for doing a single plus ultra, no dash cancels, and then he's in spaz mode where he'll kill you instantly, like, even without spending any meter. Guys, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's... Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.